show me pictures of them, text messages, all type of junk. So I'm like, what? Like, that is, like, I'm just, like, confused. Welcome back to another vlog tupper video you guys by that title y'all I'm about to get into a story time y'all My girls love my story time so y'all know I had to bring out another one And you're about to get into it when a dude was cheating on me like I don't know what's up with these I'm, Like I don't know what's up with these dudes like I really think they're slow for real I really think that They just don't know how to handle a good woman for real like they be wanting to have a cake and get it too, and baby, and it's just not like that this way. So, you know, like, but never got it. Like, to this day, I never got cheaters. Like, why cheat when you could just leave and do whatever you want to do? You feel me? Like, you could have a full roster of females. Like, why waste that girl or, like, one person time you know they really into you? Like, I never got that, but whatever i always been real big on like watch how you treat people because karma is a real thing like you can't expect to do a good person dirty and expect your life to just go you know kumbaya all glitters and glams and just you know like so no your karma's gonna get you that's how i always thought about certain shit when people do weird ass shit to me but whatever we about to get into it um a time when you know, a boy that I was talking to in high school cheated on me. So, mind y'all, this is the same dude that I lost my V card to. So, you know, that really, that really did get to me, like, because, like, I lost my V card to. It was, like, ninth or 10th grade, one of the two. So, don't want to say the dude's name. So, we're just going to call him Steve. We're going to call my friend S. And we're gonna call the girl, um, what was the girl's name? I don't even remember the girl's name. All I know that she was she was cool with my friend S. I think her name started with a D. Don't know. Her name did start with a D. I don't know. I don't know the girl's name. I forgot it. But anyways, we're gonna call the girl D. My friend name is S and the dude who I was talking the dude who I was talking to name was C. So me and C was talking for a few weeks or whatever. Um, lost my V card to him. He ended up meeting my mom, and my dad. I didn't want him to meet my mom, and my dad, but my mom and my dad are the type of parents that if you're going out, my daughter, we gonna we gonna need to meet you at that time, you know. So when I first went out with him, um, had to meet my parents. So ended up meeting my parents, lost my V card to him, all that. Talked to the dude for a few weeks, you know. He, we all like we gonna meet each other's people, so all type of junk, you know. So doing you know doing what boyfriend girlfriends do so it was a day where um he ended up having an incident you feel me um, i'm guessing he got like you know incident happened where he had to be on a um foot the foot cast or foot brace one of the two because he ended up incident happened with his foot child so he had to you know walk around with that on his his foot um end up telling my friend s about the whole situation so she knew exactly who i was talking to she knew the dude's name and she knew you know what happened to him and why he was wearing that on his foot so um it, it, i guess um it was a pep rally i didn't go to it but it was a pep rally so my friend s and the girl d she they were all on um the cheer team or whatever i didn't go um to that event they had that so the day after the pet rally school day uh, we was pretty much we was in the um hallway it was me a couple of my other friends my friend is she pulled me to the side she was like jess come here so and i was like yeah what up and i remember her telling me like did you say your boo name was you know, see. now y'all see why I'm using code, okay? So she was like, Do you see a boo name with C? And I'm like, Yeah, she was like, And you told me, like, um, and you told me about, you know, what was the situation why he ended up like that. And I'm like, Yeah, she was like, 
girl, why he coming to the pep rally? And I'm looking like, which means he came to the pep rally. Cause I'm looking like, he don't know what the school, he didn't know what school I went to. He ain't like, what he doing at my school at the pep rally. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, why was he there? She was pretty much like, he talked to D. I found out that he talks to D. So I'm like, nah, no, no he don't. So then, she was like, yeah, she showed me pictures of them, text messages, all type of junk. So I'm like, what? Like, that is, like, I'm just, like, confused. I'm like, not when I just gave this man my V card and he doing this. So then I'm like, okay, like, that's weird. So I'm really like, okay. I forgot what happened after that, to be honest with y'all. So all I know is that. My friend Sid came and told me what happened. They was sitting on the bleachers, all type of junk, booed up, all type of junk. But I know my friend S ain't gonna lie. You feel me? So she pretty much just put me hip like you need to cut, you need to cut Brody off, or like you feel me? Y'all y'all need to figure out like what's going on. But she said since you feel me, since that is that, I wouldn't still continue to mess with dogs. So me, I'm like. My friend come to me, putting me hips to some junk, straight. Like, I ain't, I ain't about to question her. Like, she came to me like a real friend and told me exactly what it was, you know. End up texting the dude, like, yeah, I found out that you, I'm hearing that you talk to a girl here that's on the cheer team, all type of junk, you know. He pretty much telling me, like, you talking about, he said her name, but we don't call her D, because I forgot the girl name. But we don't call her D. So I'm like, yeah, her, what would it's that, like, um, my friend telling me y'all was doing this, like, and I told him I said I don't wanna, like, fuck with you no more, like, it's done. Be happy with with her, like, I ain't about to be competing with no female, because I shouldn't even be put in this type of situation if you really fuck with me, like you say you did. That was just that he pretty much just talking about like he stopped fuck with her, and I was just at that time, I was just like, no, I, was, I think I was just so hurt in the fact that that was my first, and then I'm hearing from my friend that you know this happened, and then the girl is at my school. Oh no, y'all, she was in ninth grade, I was in ten. So yeah, I remember because she we was in the same grade, but I know that I was older than her. So I think so she was in the ninth and I was in the tenth for sure. Ended up just saying nah, bro, straight like you know I was really hurt for real. But you know you can't really let a nigga know like that shit. Really. You just gotta keep peeing, keep pushing. Like, my friend as new it hurted me a little bit, but you know I just was like it is what it is, like whatever, you know. So yeah, ended that. Stop talking to dog. I was really on that type of time like. It, it didn't happen like right off back like soon as I just cut him off. Like, it really happened maybe like I say a couple weeks, a few weeks after that. And then I started talking to the dude that I got with before my baby daddy. So that's how that pretty much played out. But like yeah, that was like that wasn't my first heartbreak. But I'm I've been hurt like a lot when it came to these boys. I'm not gonna lie, like I had my times so and it's crazy because y'all as many times as motherfuckers did me so wrong hurt me all type of junk i still be like giving out so much love to people like anybody i deal with i just give them so much love that you would never expect me to have gone through what i've gone through i be feeling like the way i love is is dangerous because it always leads me to getting hurt but you know, it's like, I wouldn't want to change nothing about myself. Like, I love everything about me. I love my heart. I love how genuine I am, loyal I am. One day, I was going to get what I deserve. You feel me? Like, I just had to sit down, chill out, weigh it out. You feel me? Focus on myself for a second. I took a, a couple months to myself, for real. And, you know, not trying to force nothing. Not trying to search for anything. Not looking for a temporary thing. Like, no, I really took time for myself. I was really just cooling, for real. Like, I'm my person. So, you know, and he loves the way that I love. You feel me? I always thought it would have been hard. But I knew, like, I know it's a love out there because... I'm living proof. So I know it's somebody out there that can give me what I deserve. You feel me? And I'm my match. I met my match. Crazy ass Gemini. Gemini and a Leo. Like, yeah. But that's really my story time on that when um Doggy cheated on me. It was so sad. I was really so hurt. So I went home and just hurt as hell. But you feel me? Like, I feel like all that I've been through, it made me who I am. Like now. Like it was just leading up to this woman that I am now. <laughs> These boys gonna learn one day. They gonna learn, like, you feel me? Like, you can't be 
You can't be doing all these women dirty and expect good to fucking happen. Because, like, when you really like somebody, that person going to do you in the worst way. That's why I watch how I treat people because, you know, I know nothing good comes out of that. You can match people how I want to be treated from one. But if you start acting crazy, weird, expecting me, sometimes I may get my get back. Sometimes I may play it cool and be like, God gonna handle your ass. I ain't really gotta do much, right? For real. So with that being said, best face, my camera's about to die. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Make sure y'all send me the comments. Y'all want more story times. I've really been getting a lot of DMs and feedback on my story times. And I realized that a lot of my females love the story times, by the way. So yeah, just spam it up in the comments. Like, what are the story times y'all want? And I'm going to get them to y'all. If y'all are new, my name is Jess Alicia. Thank y'all for tuning in into this video. And if y'all are not, mm, that means y'all are my best base, my day ones. And thank y'all for tuning in to this vlog to video. And I'll see y'all next one. Peace out, best of base. Love y'all.